Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spielfelling Fellowship on the Norwegian Viking and this is Stig in the middle and as you can see we're joined here by James and lovely Dan. Dan. So we are going to play some games today. We are doing a, um, a battle report for Hot Kids Gaming. Yes, we are. This is the epic, epic matchup, which is a follow-on from the GBXL podcast one we did the other day. Yeah, and that hasn't been released yet by the time no. this will be up. So no, I'm hoping to release them both on the same day, so you get a really oh, good crossover. Nice. So uh, I'm sure James will tell us when they're up, and we can uh, we can tell you as well. So um, we're doing loads of stuff. I'm sure me and Steve will play some Guild Ball after you leave. Uh, and, Hope so uh, good. Hmm? Odds are very good. Odds are very good for Odds that. Very good. <laughs> so, uh, so be sure to check on that. And uh, yeah, so, uh, so we'll come back when we have something more to show you. Bring it on! <laughs> what a game! <laughs> what a game! So uh, be sure to uh, to check that out on the Hot Gates Gaming channel. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think it's really cool that it's it's almost sort of two of a series of battle reports that you yeah. can watch across channels. I mean, maybe next time you're over, we'll do something between STF and of course, or Gates or something Stieg like that. Stieg is grabbing a camera now and we'll film part three, which is me getting my axe <laughs> <laughs> and doing it in the parking lot. No. <laughs> I don't fancy my chances against an axe without... Mind you, I've got a camera tripod. <laughs> And I'm deadly with a camera tripod. You watch out. I've got my angles down and everything. All right. So uh, so this is goodbye to James. I don't mean you should get this on camera because oh. it's going to be emotional. It's going to, to cry. Well, we had a well, great time. You did time. cry before because, of course, I shaved this morning. Yeah. Oh, you sh he shaved. I shaved. It's Monday. After I, told, I him. told him I extended the deadline until Articon. Uh, unfortunately, that was never going to happen because... Uh, even this morning when I was FaceTiming Jane, she, she was like, what are you doing? I said, don't worry, it's going. It'll be, it'll be gone before you return. But to get on camera, oh, thanks for a lovely weekend. Oh, it's been super. Thanks so much and, for coming. Uh, Thank you. And uh, keep on trucking, and I'm sure we'll be all for Articon. Well, yeah. me and Stieg already Thanks for all the tickets. chocolate as well. Yeah. Thanks for adding at least another three or four kilos over the weekend. Two, two stone. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is goodbye to James, but we'll uh, we'll meet up so, with some other people probably early, later in the day, as well as travel home. Goodbye so, for now. Goodbye for now. All right, everyone. So uh, the journey is uh, sadly come to an end. Mm. Uh, lots of fun goodbyes. We we met up with Sam Page uh, at the Omen Games Hall. Me and Sieg had a quick uh, quick game. Yeah. And I found out that Victoral is uh, deadly. No, well, not deadly. She's a deadly goal kicker for uh, for Gilball. She she scored two goals on me in two turns. Uh, in this, yeah, in this two turns. Yeah. One of the last yeah. activations in one turn, and then one of the first yeah. activations in the next one. Yeah. So that was uh, was horrendous. And um, yeah, so we we met up with Sam, and then uh, then we just uh, decided to. We, we were, we were um, wise of previous years because, uh, of course, miniature carrying cases on airports are always um, as well received. Received, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I usually want to have some extra time when I'm um, traveling mm. for my miniature carry case. It's in, well, if they do want to have it, very, very good look inside it. Uh, like they did after, after my first DOS when I spent 45 minutes at the security checkpoint. <laughs> that long? Well, yeah, they had to scan it, I think, three or four times until they were satisfied that my uh, my Muma camel, uh, Mahud camels weren't uh, deadly weapons of mass destruction. Mass, mass camel destruction? Mass camel destruction. So, uh, so, yeah, so we're sat here at the airport. We have had us some food. Uh, Steve got in a bit of trouble with his uh, with his case. I do think that was just because that guy was very very distracted. Yeah, I think he was a little stressed for yeah. one. Secondly, he was but they they they're okay. But but he uh, he was talking for, was it hundred miles a minute? Is that yeah. the expression? I don't don't think he had a rule in his mind for where how to approach yeah. that kind of stuff. He basically looked at them and he looked so confused. The poor man. Yeah. I, felt a, a little, I felt with him there. 
Well, I just had it in my in my backpack the whole time, and it went through no worries. First time in Manchester Airport, my carry case has gone through no worries. Mm. So, so yeah. So, uh, so we got some food uh, in us. Um, there's about 50 minutes until the gate opens or something. Yeah, flight is due to leave now in one hour and five ten minutes. Yeah. So we're soon back in Norway, but. I don't think there will be anything more to, to say about this. We will be releasing our very own, um, our own thoughts about the tournament in a separate video. Mm. Uh, so uh, be sure to check out that. And for all you guys who have, uh, have uh, checked out uh, both mine and of course Steve's journey at the, uh, the event, both the days prior and to, to the better end as it's now, um, thank you for watching. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Do you have anything more to say? Well, it's the classical, I can't get anything in the ending right. Is that the idea? Well, no, no, not no? really. Well, we'll, no. we'll try. So, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And support your, well, hobby. And on Patreon. <laughs> and on Patreon, of course. Alright, so see you yeah. later, guys.